What's good YouTube, TP Locks here bringing you guys another video. Yes, today I wanted to break down my most frequently asked question. How long is it gonna take for my locks to lock? How long is it gonna take for my dreadlocks to lock? You guys, I get this question almost every single day, whether it be DM, on YouTube, or Instagram, even sometimes on my Facebook, even sometimes on my Gmail. People wanna know how long it's gonna take to lock up their dreadlocks, you guys. And again, this is one of my most common questions. So today, I'm gonna to break it down. I'm gonna break it down, that way when you guys ask this question, I can see you guys' this video and hopefully clear up all the, you know, the questions that you have. So if you're interested in that video, Stay tuned. Per usual, you guys, if you have not hit subscribe, hit subscribe right now. You guys, we're trying to hit 10K by the end of the year. We are on pace. We are very close to 6,000 right now. I think we're about 5,700. A lot of you guys have been rocking with me since 1,000. A lot of you guys have been rocking with me since 200. So thank you, you guys. Thank you, guys. Just please keep it up. Also, if you have subscribed already, please make sure you hit that notification bell. Hitting that notification bell, make sure that you stay notified on all the posts the moment that I post. Also, this just in, Backpack Beats is gonna be the guy that's gonna be featured in all of my videos with all the beats. So if you're enjoying the vibes, check his channel out. He raps, he does beats, he does DJ sets all on his channel. Check him out, subscribe, show him love. He's also a fam you rattler. So of course, HBCU love all the way across the board. Straight like that. All right, let's get into this video. All right. Oh, Y'all yeah, can see, man, you know, I'm rocking a little, you know, I do a little something, something now. I washed my hair. I thought it was going to shrink. Um, but yeah, All right, how long it's going to take for your hair to lock? Before we get into that, I just want to do a little quick rewind of the, the events that happened last week. I'm talking specifically about my last video. You guys, I learned the hard way that for one, the majority of people on YouTube probably don't watch the whole, my whole video. They don't. They, they read the headline. My analytics showed me I got, you know, the average view was probably about three minutes, which is cool, which is cool, I ain't offended. People were so turned off by that video. And to some extent, I get it. With our culture, we're very defensive. We don't want anyone detracting from the beauty of, of this amazing hairstyle. For some of us, it's spiritual, it's personal. So I get it, I got that defensive nature. The problem that I had with some of the feedback that I was getting on that video, were people just straight up telling me that like, you know, I didn't care about the culture or insinuating that I didn't care about the culture or insinuating that I'm trying to perpetuate Eurocentric values or insinuating that, you know, the journey might not be for me. I'm like, bruh. And a few times, you'll see. I mean, I... I <laughs> it was people getting spicy with me so of course that was like the first time i had to you know clap back i'm not that person i'm the person that tries to stay positive i'm the person that likes to smile and laugh things off but a lot of times you know with the growth of this channel what i'm starting to sort of understand and see with that growth comes people that aren't necessarily familiar with the channel they're not familiar with me they're not familiar with the content that i put out at the point now where i've done almost 80 plus video or not almost but i've done 80 plus dreadlock videos you know when people see one it's it's kind of like that's their first impression of me and when that's their first impression of me i'm almost combating adding that as well you know I had some people accuse me of putting that video out for views and I, it's like I, I kind of had to correct them I'm just like do you not know that I've been posting a video every week at least one video every week since like 2018 damn near like I was posting videos when I only got like 35 views on a video and was consistently and still will be consistently passionate regardless of if I get any views. Me doing something specifically for views is just sort of, it was a slap in the face. It was an insult. And you know, um, I was being very defensive. I was being very defensive. Got Like I said, I got a little spicy. I got a little spicy. I had to pin a comment, you know, hopefully add a disclaimer. I don't, I don't do that with video. So for anybody that subscribed to me, that's new to the channel, I just, like I said, I, I, I kindly ask that you familiarize with yourself with the channel a little bit more, familiarize yourself with, you know, some of my old content, my old work, and just to fully understand where I sit. I am not a person that is ever gonna do anything to detract from this amazing, journey from this amazing culture whether it be a spiritual reason whether it be a superficial reason i've got nothing but love for everyone in this community you guys i'm a huge fan of it i'm a i'm participating member of it I'm, i love it so 
I just wanted to say all that because like I said, it got a little, you know, I got a, I was in my feelings. I was, my feelings were hurt. It was like the first video I ever had with like any sort of like, you know, a little spice. So I had to, yeah, I had to, I had to respond to some of y'all. Yeah, but let's get into this actual, actual, actual video, okay? Today we're talking about how long it takes for your dreadlocks to lock, all right? Now, in fully addressing this question, I think it's gonna be very important to identify first what you mean when you say lock. I find that it means two different things to people. How long is it gonna take before I can do wash and goes? And for some people it means how long until I'm gonna have the full-fledged, stiff, non-hollow, non-budding locks. Two different types of questions. And I think I'm gonna, it's gonna be very important that we differentiate those two because it's two completely different timetables. Let's first address number one. How long it's gonna take before you can do simple wash and goes? Simple wash and goes, I think I need some water. <sighs> Let me go get my water. Where was I? When it comes to being able to do wash and goes, wash and goes is very, very important to people, mainly because you don't want that anxiety every time you wash your hair. People want to be able to do, to put their hair in some water, get their hair wet without the fear of locks coming out or having to go to a a loctician or having to get your hair retwisted after each each time that that really is all going to vary okay it's really all going to vary and what it's going to vary on specifically is going to be your hair texture those of you guys who are not familiar with your hair texture please refer to the chart that i'm about to post up okay typically the more coarse your hair is the quicker your hair is going to lock it's also going to be dependent on your hair length okay so the longer your hair is typically the longer it's gonna to take to lock. The shorter your hair is, the shorter the amount of time it's gonna to take to lock. When I started my locks, I started my locks under a year of actual, you know, loose curl growth, under a year. So when it came to how long it took for me to be able to utilize wash and goes, it was a very short time. My short hair length made it very easy for my hair to lock within a three to five month span with no problem some people that operate or have a 4c hair texture more of a 4c 4b they could lock even quicker some people with very hard right 4c even quicker than that but it's all going to depend on a combination of your hair texture and your hair length the reason why that is now we're gonna like i said we're gonna deep dive the reason why that is is because when it comes to having a tighter cylindrical pattern that's what we're talking about when we're talking about coarse less coarse you know on a scale of corbin blue and wakanda okay i'm closer to the wakanda side <laughs> when it comes to why that contributes to locking it's because if you look at your hair kind of like a spring and you look at each different follicle of hair like a series of springs close together you've twisted that hair and you've manipulated to a point where all of those follicles of hair are closely compacted closely compacted together the hair that's coiled tighter is going to be the hair that's going to tangle the easiest it's as simple as that so if you're a person with a more loose hair texture or if you're a person with a straighter hair texture it's going to be a lot more difficult for you to have that natural tangling of your hair now of course there are methods like the crochet needles and you know a lot of different things that you can do to sort of manufacture that tangling a little bit easier but as far as naturally tangling naturally locking hair is concerned the more coarse the easier it's going to lock now when it comes to to longer hair longer hair is gonna take longer because shorter hair in a smaller space less volume is gonna lock easy it's less things needing to tangle and and solidify when you're talking about longer hair from a volume standpoint it's a lot more that's got to do that if you got you know hair all the way down your back and you need that hair locked you're talking about inches worth of hair that needs to undergo that locking mechanism. So getting back to that question, the first thing that I would tell you to do and I would ask you to do is identify where you fall on a hair texture pattern or a hair texture chart. If you're a person that has relatively short hair and you have between a 4C and a 4B hair texture, 
between a 4C and a 4B hair texture, I would say, and I would make this rough estimate, that your hair, and again, relatively shorter hair, I would assume that it would take between three to five months before your hair is going to be able to utilize a wash and go, before you can wash your hair and not have to worry about your locks coming out. I would say the same thing for that 4C, that hard 4C, I'd say anywhere between that three to five month period. With that hard 4C, some people could be find a little bit quicker, especially when it, you know it's relatively shorter. But again, for safety, I'd say anywhere between that three to five mark if, if you have relatively short hair within those fours, okay? Now, if you're a person that has 3C, 3B, or 3A, you're looking at increasing that time period from three to five to probably anywhere between five to eight with relatively short hair. And this is not going to be an exact date. For the sake of you waiting, I'm just attempting to give you guys sort of a times table so that you can sort of understand how long your wait is going to be. As long as you understand, the more you climb up that hair texture chart, the looser your hair texture pattern is, the closer you are to Corbin Blue than Wakanda, the, the, the longer it's going to take. Same thing with length. The longer your hair gets, the longer it's gonna take for your hair to lock, okay? When it comes to your hair texture getting to a space where it's a hard, cylindrical, tight lock, you know, one of these, where it's just, it's no longer hollowed, it's a big boy lock. Now that is going to depend on a lot of different things. Let's assume that you don't manipulate it, that you don't dye it, let's just assume that you're a purist and that you're doing everything possible that's correct. It can take some people within that four, within the 4A, 4B, 4C category, up to a year, year and a half before they're at a space where their locks are even close to mature. Some people, it's a little bit different if you added dyes or chemical damage to that mix. These aren't things that are going to be exact numbers. It's all gonna be dependent on your specific hair, your specific hair type, you know, your specific hair length as it started. And again, all of these rules are going to apply. If you're waiting for your hair to lock and you started off with your hair when it was very, very long, it might take you a while for all of your hair. It might take you longer than a year. It could take you two years because just by sheer volume, the process at which you're trying to get your hair to lock. Now, if you started off with your hair really, really short because your hair would have locked a lot sooner and you're just maintaining your new growth up to that point, you may get to that space where your hair is more mature earlier because you've been locking smaller volumes of hair at a time as opposed to having to lock an entire long section of hair and new growth on top of that. I really hope this isn't confusing for you guys. Like I said, I get this question, ooh, I get this question a lot. And you know, a lot of times people really just want that number. You know, people really want that number. They want that instant gratification. They really want to know for a fact that number and how long it's going to take. And I wish you guys it was that easy, but all I can tell you is that if you want any sort of indication how long it's going to take, refer to the chart that's in this video. The longer your hair is, the longer it's going to take to lock. The looser your curl pattern is, the longer it's going to take to lock. And typically, as you decrease the length and you increase the coarseness, you will find that it'll take a little bit shorter amount of time, okay? I don't want to beat this dead horse. Hopefully if I have explained that, you know, to the best of my ability, you guys, it's all about length. It's all about your hair texture at the end of the day. If you guys have questions, if you guys need more clarity, feel free to utilize my inbox. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Hopefully I don't have to answer this question too much more, but if I do, I got a video so I can get some views since I did every, since I do everything for the views. <laughs> All right, y'all, man. It's been TP Locks signing out.